Caddis Maximus here. This time with just a quick review, well, relatively quick, uh, quick review and discussion of these WS2812B. These are the individual pixel uh, five volt uh, LED light strip. This one happens to be by Joylet because it was the best price, 29 bucks, uh, with the little controller that includes a remote, an odd remote that's both infrared and radio frequency wireless. A lot of these advanced LED strips, you just saw how that it was trying to do white, and you'll see that here. This is a problem with 5 volt LED light strips if you get the really long ones, is that there's some little voltage, and there's such a high voltage, there's a voltage drop from the big long piece of wire that the LEDs just can't light up. That's even with the little connectors where you connect the power, 5 volt power supply directly to the LED strip. These strips only have three wires, plus, minus, and a digital control wire. The controller is actually this little thing right here. This is the controller. It's amazing. It's just a little circuit board and a piece of shrink tubing. You don't really want to run through that because this is a 40-watt LED strip if you're running all white. So you have a big voltage drop, and so you really need to take a power supply, and you have to connect it to both ends of the, the plus and minus to both ends of the strip to overcome that. But as you can see, most people, including me, will just run it in some type of animated mode, so you'll almost never run into that issue where you want it to be all white. Um, the reason that the 2812s and I think the 12 volt version, which is the 2813s, are cool is because these are individual addressable pixels. These aren't the ones where it's like three pixels or the same address. Also, what makes them a little more expensive than like the $20 like dream color ones is because each one of these LED lights right here has a electronic chip built into the uh, light itself. As a matter of fact, let me put up a uh, image on the screen of what the inside one of these lights uh, looks like. There you go. So you're able to see what's the, you could see the chip. And in the still image, you could see that was actually the microchip. You have the ground wire and the three wires going down to each of the LEDs. Surprisingly enough, that chip at the bottom is that the red LED. Uh, and it needs to be much larger to get the same equivalent light output. And the big chip in the top corner is actually the controller. And it has po positive, negative, and a digital wire going to it. And then four wires to drive the three LEDs with the common ground. And that's what makes these more expensive is that integration. And it's also kind of interesting that the, they have a translucent mounting, which kind of, I guess, helps the light broadcast or any the light that comes off the back of the chips. So anyway, these are the really cool, the dream color ones. Um, when you get these, you get the 300 modes. If you're really technically inclined, you can actually reprogram them. These are the strips that can be cut. And with this particular controller, you actually have a setting button. So when you cut it down, um, you can reset it so it still is con it's controlling the appropriate number of LEDs. These are like 5 eighths of an inch apart, 300 LEDs in the strip. And these are the basic ones. These are unprotected, so it wouldn't be recommended to put them outside. But they make ones where they have like a, uh, either are slid somehow inside a silicone tube or have another coating. These have an adhesive back, so you can do that to get them to stick places. But I always wanted to make a little video about these just to show people that you know, you do have to buy a, uh, a power brick to go with them. But they really are pretty cool uh, LEDs, and that's really the deal. I just kind of wanted to make a quick video about them and then show up close what those uh, the little light chips on them look like. But these things just have just so many uh, modes. It's just crazy. Uh, you can just go through here. It's just amazing. And so and we're getting to the holiday season, so you're doing Halloween stuff. And maybe something like that. Let me turn off some lights here. So these things are pretty bright, pretty amazing. The other thing about these per pixel ones is many lesser chasing LED light strips. You cannot dim in any of the animated modes. They just don't have the processing power. And so with something like this, you can actually dim it all the way down. And that's pretty cool. Many of them don't do that. So I just want to do... Kind of my share my two cents with these. One thing I'll mention is that the concentric barrel, they come with this connector so you can connect power supply directly to the wires of the LED strip and not run 
all the way through the controller because it's a 40 watt strip. Um, the concentric barrels aren't rated for dozens of watts of power, unfortunately. And this is a situation where I'm going to end up having to basically solder the wires and make something. Part of the issue with the voltage drop is making another chase wire to go to the other end of a, of a long strip. And so there are issues with the 5 volt ones. For most people, it'll be just fine. And really, there's a lot of people who are in the Christmas lights, Halloween lights, and absolutely nothing can beat these dream color ones here. It's just the amount of modes that you get. We can just go through here. It's just stunning. This in the the types of animations. That's pretty cool. That's a multicolor chaser. I actually really like that one. And then you can have like different background colors and have the lights chasing over the top of it. Believe me, I've had <laughs> I've had I have a lesser set of these and still got quite a few comments. And I'm sure when I put these up this year. Um, that I'm going to get quite a few uh, comments from my neighbors about it because uh, these are pretty much the most amazing LED lights that are <laughs> available. And it's actually surprising that you can get a strip with 300 of them on there um, and the controller for only 30 bucks. Although you do have to buy a power brick. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, Please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.